In this video, we're going to have a look at how to create a list of products, but using the product attributes. The previous one we looked at pricing. So now we're going to take the attributes and create the list. So here I have a t-shirt and I've just created in Oxygen a repeater. And that repeater has a custom query. And then I've just built the content out like this. And it's based on the product uh, post type. So if we look at that query at the moment, You'll see that we have the post type of product. We have a taxonomy query with the relation set to and, and then we have the array. And in that array, we've said that taxonomy is PA size. The field is a slug, the terms in this one just large, and then the operator end. So if the size is in large, we'll see the product. Now, there's only one product at the moment in the database with sizing. So I've said that to large at the moment. If I head over here to the color and sizes, and um, these are the attributes, and I then go and configure the terms, I'll be able to see how many products are in those terms. And as you can see, there's only one, one, one. So what I'd like to do now is add an attribute to a product, which doesn't have an attribute at the moment. So here we have the products. And what I'm gonna do is head over to this cap and in the cap, I'm now going to head over here to attributes. And at the moment, we just have color. So what I'm going to do now is add a size attribute. And that size, I'm going to make large. And then I'm going to save the attributes. And then I'm going to update the product. So now if I go and have a look at um, oxygen you'll see that the size is set to large so theoretically now when I refresh the page the cap should also appear and there's the cap so the cap is now also coming up under that particular attribute if I wanted to look at an attribute of, of um, color what I can do here is simply change the attribute name the PA is the prefix for attribute so product attribute underscore and then the attribute name in this case let's go with color and i'm going to change that to green i don't know which items have the green color and now when i go and have a look at the front end you'll see now that any of these products has a green option let's just select this one we'll go and get some more details and you'll see that the color available is blue green or red and in the drop down blue green or red so that's how we can get the attribute into the advanced query. So what I'm going to do now is go into that query. And as you can see here, we have the first query set up, which is PA color. So why don't we add another query, which looks at the size. So we're now combining the size and color. So here what I'm going to do now is add a relation, uh, add an array. And now what I'm going to do is add some values. So now I'm going to go to taxonomy and I'm going to go PA underscore size. Then we're going to look at the field and we'll select slug again for that. And then I'm going to look at terms and I'm going to add a value and the size that we're going to go for is let's go for large and then I'm going to go for the operator and I'm going to go with in so the product must have both of these in play in order to display so we're looking for something that's green and that's large and I'm going to close that and I'm going to apply that query now the query won't always display correctly in the builder. So I'm going to head over here to the front end now and see if anything matches our query. So here we have this V-neck t-shirt. And just to recap in our query, we said we're looking for something that's green and large. So here we go. Let's go and have a look. So here we're looking for something that's green and large. And there we have the green and large. What I can do now just to test that is head over to my product. And here we have the cap. 
and in the cap under attributes we had size of large and a color of yellow so I'm going to head over to oxygen I'm going to change my color to yellow I'm going to leave my size at large close that save that and now when I go back to my query on the home page and I refresh let's just refresh that so now you'll see that the cap that's yellow is displayed so that's essentially how you can work with color and with sizes and if I wanted to include a few more well it's quite easy then for me to head over here and add some more colors so if I was to add the color green now um, well let's make that red and large and in fact let's add the value green and then we'll just close that save and now when I refresh on the home page you'll see that all the items that now conform to one of those are displayed and if we wanted to test that again um, I'm going to go in here to my products I'm going to select another product so I'm going to take one that's definitely not in there so let's have a look at sunglasses now we know that sunglasses don't come in any particular size so this will be a simple product so what I'm actually going to do now is change that to a variable product I'm going to head over to attributes and I'm going to add an attribute of color and I'm going to add an attribute of size so in size we know that that needs to be large to be displayed and then in the color what did we select in our color let's just make sure we choose one of those so let's go with um, red so we're going to go with red we're going to save the attributes we're going to update that and now when we refresh the home page you'll see that that pair of sunglasses is also in the loop and displayed and there we go so that's how you can adjust the attributes in the custom query to display the products by attribute so just to recap we have the product we've now set to the taxonomy relation to and so in other words this and this must be true and here we have the taxonomy of PA color which is the attribute color and here we have PA size which is the attribute for size we then went by the field slug we then chose some values here in the terms here we just have large color we had a few more and the operator in and the operator in so anything that matches one of those colors and that size will be displayed I hope you enjoyed that video thank you for watching